things in my foster home that just make sense. Number one, night lights. It's a different house. It's good to know where the bathroom is. Pads and tampons in the bathroom. I do foster teenage girls after all. This is what the first night with a foster child looks like for an emergency foster parent. First of all, I make sure I've got their welcome basket ready to go. This includes toiletries, fuzzy socks, a blanket, anything else they may need. Then we take a walk to our local Shake Shack. I found that most kids can find things on the menu here that they like, and it gets us out of the house and kind of in a neutral area where we can just get to know each other. A lot of kids come with dirty clothes, so I always ask if I can do a load of laundry for them. And as I mentioned in a previous video, a lot of them come bringing their things in trash bags. Yeah, we don't do trash bags at my house, so we make sure they get a duffel bag of their very own to take with them. We wind down the evening with some TV, and then before you know it, it's time for lights out. Cinnamon rolls. These are super easy to make in the morning, and I've yet to find a kid who doesn't like cinnamon rolls for breakfast. The game closet. If a child's with me more than one night, there's a really high probability that we're going to end up having a game night while they're here. Conversation cards. These are fantastic to prevent lulls in conversation at dinner time, and it allows the kids to get out of their heads and, and think about something else other than what's going on in their lives at this very moment. Plus, we get to learn about each other. Refrigerator magnets that let every child who comes in my home know that they are welcome exactly as they are. And finally, pets. I've yet to find a kid who doesn't love that I have a pet and finds it comforting and is always happy to see Millie. Things in my foster home that just make sense. Part two, coloring books and crayons. This is a great way for girls to unwind and de-stress and also be able to show their creativity while they're with me. TV and DVD player in their room. A lot of kids are used to falling asleep with the TV on or they just need to relax when they're in a new place, so this helps. Odor remover. If the kids are okay with me washing their clothes, I find that a lot of times the clothes haven't been washed in a really long time, so this helps remove some of the odors. The snack closet. No, it is not full of super healthy things. I do make healthy foods with dinner and I have healthy snacks in the fridge, but this is to offer some comfort and um, some feelings of home. Plus, I mean, they're teenagers. Finally, I found that a lot of my kids don't like to sleep under the sheets and blankets on the bed, so I always have a supply of blankets available to help them get cozy and have a good night's sleep. I foster mainly teenage girls. Unfortunately, many of them have experienced sexual abuse and really don't like to take a shower. Sometimes it was their way of trying to prevent the abuse, and sometimes it reflects how dirty they feel on the inside, even though none of it was their fault. I want to share one way I've found that helps the girls who come into my home. The first step is to run a hot bath for them. And then I bring Alexa in so that they can choose their music, whatever their preferences may be. Then they get to select a bath bomb. I light some candles. Then I invite them to relax, often with a flourish like, Madam, your bath awaits. I make sure that they know they can lock the door behind me for privacy. It definitely doesn't erase the trauma or fix anything, but many girls can find it peaceful, safe, makes them feel worthy and feel beautiful inside and out.